Okay, so we're all ready to uh, drop our pistons in. We've got the ring compressor here, and the pistons are all ringed. You can see I've put the bearings in each one of these. Now, uh, the procedure I use is, I don't know, it's, it's just kind of the way I've done it. And it can be a little messy, but it's always worked really well for me. Now, when I laid out all my pistons on the table, or rather when Phil did, we laid them out in such a way where where we would know um, where they go. Now, most pistons you'll find from the factory are marked. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a one on there, and this one's eight and two and uh, two or, or uh, excuse me, one and five and uh, one five two two three or. Uh, Gosh dang it, I'm messing myself up. One, five, uh, two, six, three, three, seven, four, eight. You know, and, and the pistons will generally be marked to go in the same as your pistons are ordered. You know, just like that. And uh, when you're disassembling, it's, it's never a bad idea to take a punch, you know and mark on the pistons, you know, the number, if you have a set of number punches, to mark on there and just make your own marks so that you can be 100% positive where they go. The other thing you gotta be sure of is you'll look on this piston and right there you'll see an arrow. That arrow is always gonna point towards the front of the motor and the piston has to be installed in that way um, or else you'll have a mess. So, you see I got this like this, now uh, the block like that, what I'm going to do is on each of the cylinders that I'm getting ready to, uh, to put a piston in on, I'm going to take my hand, dip it in the oil, and I'm just going to take and make a nice smear of oil all the way down each one of these. Okay, just like so. And it just gives the piston a nice coating, you know, and, and uh, gets everything kind of lubed up and ready to go down in so you're not going in dry. And that way you don't take a chance of, uh, of scoring your cylinder walls that you've, in my case, spent probably a total of four hours honing out and making sure they're just the way you want them. Okay, so you get that done and the next thing you want to do is wipe off your hand good, although I don't know why because, you know, probably just won't here, I guess. But, uh, so I'm going to have to set the camera down and then I'll show you what I, what I do from there. Take this piston, and I'm going to make sure that I'm referenced so that the front of the uh, so that the arrow of the piston is pointed towards the front of the block, like so. And then I am going to take and uh, see, and that's number one. So I got the wrong one. I'm putting in the other bang. Okay, now I got the right one. I got number five here. So this one needs to go like so, and we're going to take this piston, and what I like to do is just take it and dunk it completely in the oil. So you got a piston sitting here dripping oil all over the place, and that's plumb fine. You know, it's kind of messy, and you'll have to do some cleanup after you're done, but what that's going to do is it's going to get everything lubed up and ready to go. You know, you don't want to take any chance of having any mistakes here. This is a bad idea. That's a, just a bad thing to have. It's a bad time to be making mistakes, you know, at this point in the assembly. The other thing you're going to do is you're going to take some hose and uh, you're going to, over the end of each one of these studs, you're going to put a piece of hose that you've cut. Now what that's going to do is it's going to protect your cylinder walls from getting scored and protect your crank from getting scored when you drop a piston down in. Now I've got, I could have showed you, but I didn't. I've got the crank pointed at the bottom most point of this piston stroke, and now we're going to take the ring compressor and we're going to drop it in there. And you're going to get your tools all oily, I guarantee it. Everything is going to be a real mess here for a bit, but this is, should be the last of the real messy stuff, so that's always a good thing. 
you set your ring compressor on here and you assume that you've already indexed your rings and set them on there, you know, in the right way. And uh, I can get a different wrench here. Oh, okay. I just couldn't get a handle on that. But uh, you want to take your piston and you push it up just a little bit before you tighten this down, which I've already done. Get ahead of myself. You know, it's kind of unnerving to be putting together a motor with uh, 1,400 plus people watching. Um, I do it all the time, but I, and I always get the jitters every time I do it. It doesn't matter, you know, how many times I've done this. I always get the jitters when I do it because I just I'm always worried I'm going to do something wrong. And I suppose that's a good thing in retrospect, but. So anyways, we'll push our piston up just a little bit, and we're going to crank down on our rings and get them tightened down in there. You want to make sure your piston's in the right way, just like so. Now what you're going to do, or what I do anyways, is you take a piece of a broom handle or something like this. So you got a wooden dowel, and you just want to tap ever so lightly until you get your piston set down in there. And while you're doing that, you want to make sure that you get your, your rod heading down onto your crank so you don't get uh, all mixed up there. And it's it's usually pretty helpful to have two people here, but uh, I do not have another person to help me out, so there, and then you'll feel when that piston pops down in there, and then at that point you can take your ring expander off, and you just uh, pop your piston down in. Keep an eye on your rod so you make sure you get everything in the right place. Just pop it down until it's touching the uh, until it's touching the crank. Then you got to take your take your hoses off like this. And then the very next thing that you'll do is uh, put your put your uh, rod cap on. And you want to make sure that your rod cap is on the right direction. You know, in my case, the numbers that they're already stamped with from the factory are uh, lined up with each other. So you go about and you do that. You go ahead and put your, put your bolts on. And you do basically, it's kind of the same thing as putting the, uh, putting the main caps in there. You just, you, you want to crank down your bolts and you'll torque them down, and then as soon as you get them torqued down, you want to make sure it rotate it over, and uh, you got to rotate it over anyways to get your next journal down to put the piston in, but uh, you just rotate it over and make sure that everything is, is free, that there's nothing hitting, you know, that everything just kind of feels good that way. So, I've already got my torque wrench preset to uh, 45 foot pounds, which is what you torque these to. So we're going to go ahead and torque these. And this is another place where you could use plastic gauge if you had it, but uh, I do not have any, so we're not going to use any. There we go. And then you just uh, roll your motor over. Make sure that everything is going to slide nice and smooth, just glide right along there. And it looks like we got a, got a good one there. And we have a visitor just in time to drop the rest of the pistons in.